Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and thank you for joining me again for another video. If you'd like to stick with the Google environment and have all of your Google Docs remain Google Docs, all of your Gmail remain Gmail, and pretty much back up your entire Google Drive in its entirety, then this is the method to choose. Again, you will click on your avatar, the bigger of the two avatars. It'll be right next to your Google Apps button. Click on the avatar and then click Google Account. This time, we're going to use the Transfer Your Content section. What I'd like you to do now is click Start Transfer. It's going to say Transfer Your Content, and it will allow you to copy and transfer your email and the entire contents of your Google Drive files to another Google account. For example, a gmail.com account. The first thing you have to do is to enter a destination account. Now, I already have a Gmail account at home, so I'm going to enter that email address ending in gmail.com. Now, if you don't have a Google account, here's how you can set one up. I'll open up a new tab, and now I'll click on my little avatar right here on Google Chrome. It's just to the left of the three-dotted button. And this is where you can have more than one profile come up for different accounts. You see I have one right here for my home account, I have one for a student demo, and I also have one for my work account. Now if you want to access more than one account from the same browser, you can just click Manage People, click Add Person. I'll uncheck the checkbox to create a desktop shortcut for this, and I'll just go with Person number one and click Add. And now that we're at the Sign In to Chrome login screen, all you'll have to do now is click Create Account. Put in your first and last name. Next, put in your birthday and gender. Click Next. And then choose your Gmail address. And click Next. Create a password and confirm the password. Click Next. I'll expand this window so you can see the options. You will need a phone number and then click Yes, I'm in. So once you've finished these steps and gone through the process of creating a new account, then you can toggle back and forth between your accounts right up here. You'll see that this is my home account and this is my work account. Now back to my avatar. I'll click on Google account and now we can transfer the content from one account to the other. I'm going to go under the Transfer Your Content section and click Start Transfer. The first thing you'll need to do here is to enter the destination account. So that will be my Gmail account. And then the next step is to click Send Code. Click on Send Code. And now you'll see that there's a box here that says Enter Code. In order to get this code, we have to jump over to your own personal home Gmail account. So I'm going to come up here and click on my avatar in Google Chrome and then jump over to the home account that I just created. Now I'll go to my Gmail and that email should be waiting for me and there it is. And here's the verify your account email. There will be a blue button that says get confirmation code. Click on that blue button and now you'll have a code so I'm going to highlight this by double clicking right in the middle of those characters and now I'll right click on it and choose copy. Now we can easily jump back over to the other account and paste it into this box. Right click, paste. And there you go. Now I can click verify and now it is set up where the account will be sent from and which account it will be sent to. And then you get to choose whether you'd like it to be just Google Drive data, Gmail, or both. Most people will choose both so both of these options should be blue. And now we're ready to start the transfer, so I'm going to click Start Transfer. Now again, remember, as I said earlier, you'll want to make sure that you have enough space in your home Gmail account, which will be 15 gigabytes or less, and make sure you don't have too much data, that would be more than 15 gigabytes, in your school district Google account. So let's take a quick look at that also. I'm going to jump back over to My Drive, Notice right here, in the lower left-hand corner of your Google Drive, it will tell you how much space has been used. So I have 34.8 gigabytes. This will be far too much data to cram into my 15 gigabyte home Gmail account. I would either have to purchase more gigabytes 
or I would have to use method number one that I showed earlier, where you can select only the folders that you'd like to back up, or you'd have to start drastically deleting a lot of these folders and their contents until this number ends up being less than 15 gigabytes. If I jumped back over to my home Gmail account, it will tell you in that exact same location under storage, and you see I have very little space left. I would need to upgrade my storage, which is something that you would have to pay for. If you scroll down, it will tell you how to upgrade for more storage space. So now that I've chosen to back up my Google Drive and my Gmail, I'm going to click the blue button that says Start Transfer. And if it doesn't have enough space, it will tell you that the destination account doesn't have enough storage for this transfer. So now I'll click the blue Start Transfer button. So you see that the code has been sent to my Gmail account where I'll need to verify my destination account. So I'll jump over to my home account where I received an email and it says Google Content Transfer from my district account to this account has begun and it may take up to a week for the transfer to complete. I'll get an email when it's finished and restricted content will not be transferred. What we mean by that is any content that was shared with you by someone else that did not originate from you will not be transferred and any data that you didn't have permissions to edit will not be included. So if you click learn more it will tell you more about this. This article called Let Graduating Students Transfer G Suite Data gives you more information about the restrictions. For example, it tells you that only documents that the user owns or has in their My Drive are copied to the new account. Everything that you'll see copied over to your Gmail account will be copies and they're created in the new account, while the original documents remain unchanged. So keep in mind, students, if there are documents in your Google Drive that you did not originally create but you need a copy of, make sure you make those copies first and put them in your Google Drive maybe into a specific folder so you know where they are. Make those copies so that those documents are now yours before setting up this transfer process. Then as you complete this process within one or more days, you will start to see that data appear in your My Drive. And here's an example of that right now. Here's my Gmail account, and this is where the backup will be stored. When I double click on it, you'll start to see the data gradually become transferred from my district account to my home Gmail account. It will be listed under your school district Google email address. Here's another look at it right here in details view. See how it's listed under my school district email address. It will be time and date stamped. These are the two methods in which you can back up and move your data from your school district Google account to your home Gmail account. And if you're a graduating senior, I wish you the very best of luck in your future endeavors. I'm Mark Rep. Thanks again for joining me for another tech tip. Bye-bye.